Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise, the GOP House whip. Uh, Congressman, that blue wave was just in the minds of the media and Democrats. Of course, it turned out to be a red wave in many cases. You didn't uh, take over control of the House, but you picked up a lot of seats. I'm wondering, and a lot of those moderate Democrats, by the way, are complaining about the leftward movement uh, of Congress in the Democratic side. Uh, do you think you could actually work with some of those moderate Democrats against the will of, of the radicals on the Democratic side? Well, uh, thanks and good morning. Uh, if you look at where the, these members are, they're not moderates anymore. They're liberals versus the socialists on the Democrat side. And frankly, a lot of those liberals were voting for the socialist agenda the last two years. Everything from the Green New Deal to Medicare for all to uh, defunding the police and raising taxes, they voted for it. The voters rejected them, and now they're yelling about it. Uh, you know, if they just voted with us and worked with us on a lot of things, they wouldn't have had those problems. But regardless of that, we're going to continue fighting for the conservative beliefs we have. And we have at least a dozen more members coming in uh, than we had before in, to join us in that fight. We have a great new class of Republican freshmen and a lot of energy that they're bringing to fight socialism. So if they're going to try to move a socialist agenda, we're going to fight it tooth and nail, and, and they'll be rejected at the ballot again, and we'll win the majority back. But have but, you, you, know, have, our, you our been, have you been looking at those moderate Democrats, particularly those who have complained about the leftward movement, whether it's Black Lives Matter issues or economic issues, have you, have you been pinpointing them and, and thinking of ways to get them on your side and particular votes that uh, you're concerned about? Yes, and, you know, we've given them opportunities the last two years, and they've rejected it. They voted with Pelosi. Every one of them voted over 90 percent of the time with Pelosi mm -hmm. and AOC. So kind of hard to call yourself a moderate when you're voting with socialists 90-plus percent of the time. We'll give them more opportunities in the next uh, Congress, and we'll see where they go. Ultimately, they're going to have to make that decision. Uh, but they're having a big internal fight right now because AOC is not going to uh, let up, and she's pushing Pelosi to be even more uh, far to the socialist left. And, and that's not where America is. Now, what about issues with regard to the cabinet, uh, a Biden cabinet? We, we talked with Hillary about the fact that Bernie Sanders may be the, the labor secretary. A lot of people say, well, that's all right. What does a labor secretary do? Well, he could do a lot in terms of corporate governance issues. Uh, he has, in fact, he put out a paper when he was running for president, corporate accountability and democracy paper, in which essentially workers would replace management and shareholders in decision making and profits of corporations. And it would get the government to interfere in many different ways in the way corporations work. Essentially, it was a so it's it's his socialist ideal with regard to replacing the capitalist element in the way corporations work. What do you think of that? Well, look, Bernie Sanders' socialist approach was rejected in the Democrat primary. I know Joe Biden tried to adopt a lot of it anyway, uh, but then he tried to run away from it in the end uh, because he knew that it was very unpopular with the public. Uh, you know, this is where the Senate's very important. Those two seats in Georgia are very important. When Chuck Schumer in New York tells people, you know, we can change Georgia, we can change America, I don't think the people of Georgia yeah. want to give their two Senate votes as a proxy to Chuck Schumer to implement New York values in Georgia. So that's what's at stake in Georgia. Uh, and ultimately, if we hold the Senate, uh, the ability for them to move socialism through the Senate or even socialist cabinet picks through the Senate would be uh, very uphill. But uh, the American people rejected socialism in a lot of ways. Look at Miami alone. We flipped two Democrat right. House seats in Miami amazing. to Republican because the, a lot of people, you know, especially a lot of the Cuban population there that fled socialism, they yeah. don't want to see socialism brought to America. I, I got I have to ask you one question, but we only have five seconds for an answer. Are we going to have another COVID relief bill before the inauguration? There's not agreement now, but I'd like to see us get another round of PPP loans. There's wide agreement on that. Pelosi needs to stop holding them hostage for bailing out failed states like New York and California. Okay. Steve Scalise, great to see you. Thank you very much for coming great in. Great being with you. It. Thanks.